So today is another big assembly day. Right now, Zach is working on the pedal assembly. We're gonna put that together, and by we, I mean Zach. Uh, he's gonna put that together. We've gotta mount this up right here. So we're gonna have to do a few things, mount a lot of this stuff up today. That's gonna be a big, uh, big thing we gotta check off on the list. We need to figure out some sizing for that first, but gotta screw a lot of these brackets on over here. And what else is on the list for today, Zach? I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out. Trans has all been painted, so now we just need to assemble it, but we're gonna give it a day to dry. And I really didn't wanna just manhandle that whole thing today. So that's gotta get built, and then that's going in. But it's exciting stuff. A lot of cool stuff coming up. Can I actually take a good look at that pedal assembly real quick? Okay. This is kind of the tentative idea of where it's gonna sit here. We do have to measure just based off of comfort for the seat, but this is like a nice pedal assembly, dude. Remind me, so our seats, how movable are those? Like. Will we actually Slightly. be able to adjust this at all? Slight, like, on the fly, no. Okay. What about, like, down here? Is there any way to adjust it at all? Lengthwise, no. Yeah, unless you want to make slots. All right, we've marked our spot. Time to drill. First test of the pedals. Pretty solid. Decent distance. They look pretty sick too. We do need to pick up a few things. There's like a hydraulic thing on the back here that goes to our master cylinder that we need to pick up. We're probably we gonna need to pick, pick up, up two more master cylinders as well. Two more or one more? Well, one more for the brake. And do you think we should get one for the clutch just so we have back pressure on it? Or do you think it'll be fine with just brake? So there's gonna be two total for the brake and one for the clutch? Yeah, unless yeah. you... I mean, we might as well get it just in case. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we need to pick up two more of those things. Next up, mount up the fuel system. We got a lot done here today, boys. So we just got the ECU mounted. That's gonna be mounted back there underneath the seat. And then all of this fuel system stuff here, that is all mounted and ready to go. We're still waiting on a few parts for that. Pedal system all mounted up. And then the next goal for a lot of this is going to be to like run all these wires, zip tie those up, make it look clean, things like that. But for now, we're doing pretty good. So now it's time to build the trans. We did it guys, the transmission is done and it's in. So the transmission build is 
pretty much complete. She's up there. We still have to tie it down, but for the most part, she's done. That whole process took about like five, six hours, so uh, it's getting pretty late. Ever so slowly, this build is coming together. Ever, ever, ever so slowly. But on the bright side, we do have some new parts in. We have the steering rack that is in. So in the next video, we're gonna do the whole steering rack. We did a tiny bit on the fuel system off camera. Just a few things to button up here. But for the most part, the fuel system's almost done. Once the transmission is set in place, then we're gonna throw the motor on. I think in the next video, we're gonna put in the motor and we're gonna throw on the turbo. So kind of what I'm thinking, I think we should, after the motor is in, we'll be able to finish up our fuel. We'll run the fuel lines completely. I don't know how much of this is actually gonna be in just the next video, but I'm thinking we run the fuel lines completely. Now that the motor's in, we'll be able to do a lot of more electrical hookup and things like that. We've been prepping for that and most of it is done and ready to hook up, but we still have to lay all those lines, make sure they fit in make some changes if we need to. I'm pretty sure after we do electrical and fuel, once the motor's in, can we fire her up? We do have to do a few random things like charge piping, hooking up the uh, radiator, the intercooler, hooking that stuff all up. So we do need to do a few of those things before we fire it up. We are also ready to do brakes whenever we take the time, but that's a big project and we kinda gotta get this stuff sorted through and cleaned up first. I don't really wanna lose things amongst all this mess right here we have made for ourselves. So I kinda wanna stick to one side of the sandwich at a time, like one piece at a time. Two months. That is hopefully when this thing will be done. I know we have given you false timelines before, but realistically, I think we can finish this in two months That'll put us at the end of August. Thank you guys for checking out the build series. More to come, and I hope to see you in the next one.